Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. We work with snakes until the next day. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Oh, 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 Nova, what are you doing? You're crazy. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Guess what? It's actually my birthday today, and I couldn't think of a better way to spend it to hang out with animals, work over at the Reptarium, and I've got a bunch of friends coming in. Miguel from Always Evolving Pythons, Brian Cusco, my friend Scott Smith, and a host of others. I did want to update you. Lucy ended up coming down from up top over here, and now she's hanging out over here. She seems to really be loving it. She definitely spent some time in the water yesterday because I saw that I had it filled just a little bit too much and it spilled over here. This is actually the hot spot over here. So she's hanging up over the cool spot right over here, which I think is absolutely amazing. Again, she's using that heat gradient. Oh, I wanted to show you this too. This is pretty exciting. We actually got the filters in. We got two of the three filters in that will run Bowser's tank. So we need one more filter, it's supposed to be here later today. And then like I mentioned, I have a friend of mine that might come in to help me out. I'll let you know if that works out. That'll be sometime next week. Then we can fill Bowser's pond, have the waterfalls going. Next week we'll start working on fascia for all of these tanks. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Today we're gonna move a handful of animals over to the Reptarium, starting with my girl, Bella. I wanted to get Bella into this cage as quickly as we possibly could. Then again, after we figure out what she's doing, we can kind of fixture this out a little bit more but I just want her to have this space right now so Jessica has got Bella coming over right now uh, we're gonna see what she likes I don't know I think she's gonna absolutely love it there you go Bella guess what sweetie Let's you've go. got a new cage oh my gosh mm -hmm. yes this is all yours put your feet on there <laughs> that's all yours girl you could do whatever you want sweetheart you can run around you can hang out or you could just sit here that's fine, whatever you want to do. Oh. What's happening right now? This is all yours, girl. <laughs> Isn't that cool, Jessica? Yes, I, mean. <laughs> I want her to go in there though. Go on, lady. Come on, sweetie. She's like, no, I'm just gonna hang out here and be a good girl. A nice hot spot for you over there. There's all kinds of place for you to cruise around. Be able to get in your water too. Yeah, you're gonna have a whole big water bin. Oh my gosh, go check it out, Bells. She's <laughs> side eye and you're like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm not playing a joke, this is yours. You can have it. Well, I'm gonna give her as much time as she definitely needs to kind of get used to it. She can hang out right here, it's completely fine. And a lot of days, honestly, this door is gonna be open so she can come up, we can feed her, we can play with her, stuff like that. So I want her to be really comfortable yes I know sweetheart but uh, as long as it takes her to get comfortable I'll just let her hang out a quick break from the Reptarium to look at all these beautiful babies. Oh my gosh. Take a look at these amazing babies. Of course, these snows are all coral snows, the ones that get super, super, super pink. So these are going to be absolutely beautiful. And then there's just some really cool caramel corns in there too. I love it when I'm hatching baby snakes. Trust me, I need a break from the Reptarium every now and then. Come over and look at some amazing little baby snakes. And here's a few more that are just about to get set up. I mean, look at all these corn snakes. It's so cool to finally be hatching corn snakes. You know, for whatever reason, the corn snake production this year was a little later than the other snakes that we produced because we had been hatching a bunch of other stuff and really weren't hatching very many corn snakes. Oh my gosh! Take a look at that! Oh, doggy! I wasn't even expecting that. Oh my gosh, that thing is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Of course, that's a scaleless corn snake, but I don't know. It looks kind of like a snow corn or something. I'm not really sure what the mutation is, but that thing is ridiculous. And yes, again, I know my hands are still dirty. Trust me, I've been washing them all day. It's impossible to get this stuff up. I'm going to call Stuart and be like, Stuart, how do you keep your hands so clean? Oh, and here's a couple more scaleless corn snakes. We've got some normal scaleless corn snakes right here and a little albino scaleless corn snake right here. Oh my gosh, what a cute little monkey. Oh, and take a look at these right here. It's a bunch of lavender and hat lavender corn snakes. Oh my gosh, those things are gorgeous. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Yep. You guys know the routine. 
every time I open up a bunch of baby corn snakes, they're all over the place. I still am baffled how Lori does it. Oh, and here's another little scaleless corn snake. Obviously, it was a good day for hatching scaleless corn snakes. Before I get back next door, I want to share with you one other animal that's going to be a resident at the Reptarium. It's just so wild to watch her. I mean, she's just like looking around. She, you can tell she's trying to take it all in. Like, what's going on? Can I go up there? I mean, she's just kind of just exploring the entire place. This, this is what it's all about. I mean, all the hard work and all of that. This is really what kind of motivated me. I wanted to sit here and see animals in these displays. And that's why I literally just want to put a couple animals, two or three animals a day so I could just watch them and really get an idea of what they're looking like. What's up, girl? I tell you, this, 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 is, this truly is a dream come true for me. Bella has definitely settled in nicely. Eric, you want to go Nova over? Yeah, for sure. All right, I'd love go, to. Let's go do it. Let's Heck do yeah. It. Here comes Eric with Nova. Nice yeah. big cage. This is what the deal is with Nova here. I'm going to put him in this cage here so he has all these climbing branches. We're going to definitely fix her. I will have some more branches in there, some vines, you know, certainly foliage and stuff like that. I just some kind of moving animals over again, kind of seeing how they're going to react to the new cages so that way I can decorate compared to what they like, you know? So let's go ahead and put yeah, Nova in. Yeah, he's going to love that. Go ahead, bud. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? <laughs> you just going to hang out here? <laughs> it's, it's interesting. Every time we put a new animal in a cage, they seem to just kind of freeze up like, uh, what am I going to do now? I don't know what's going on. So I think he's going to be absolutely amazing up in these branches and stuff like that. And we're using coconut bedding in the bottom because these guys do need some humidity so we can keep this a little bit damp and I think that's going to be really good for him. We may change things up a little bit as we go. Like we're going to put chicken strip over and with the bedding there, I'll probably use like a dirt, sand, coconut mix, maybe some leaf litter and stuff like that. But for now, we're just getting things set up. We'll be changing things and improving things over the next coming months. But in the meantime, Nova, go climb, buddy. Climb. Oh, 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 oh hey. Nova. What are you doing? <laughs> You're crazy. What's going on, Nova? Oh, come on. Silly. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna leave Nova alone and we'll come back and check on him in a little bit too. So my buddy Scott just came in. You guys remember him from the Chicago show, the All Animal Expo. Uh, I literally, when we were talking on the phone, the one thing I said is, Scott, you're gonna love these trees, right? He did it so, intentionally. I know, so you gotta come down this aisle, Scott. <laughs> It's not that nice. bad, really. Nice. It's, not, uh, it's bad. not horrible. I was expecting worse. <laughs> it's awesome. I've literally talked to Scott pretty much every single day of this build, so he's kind of been on the emotional journey with me as well. So I'm so happy he can be here to kind of celebrate with us on my birthday and stuff like that. And guess who made it over here to visit? Of course, we've got Miguel and Brian Cusco. I will put the links in the description to their channels. Definitely go show them some love. Tell them I sent you. You guys are in town for the day, and then we're going to Canada together, yes. right? So these guys are just hanging out for the day, checking out the rep terrain. We're going to check out the shop next door actually do uh, some vlogging with both of them so you can check out the vlog that they do on their channels as well as an episode of Triple B with Brian over here so again I will do it <laughs> again I will put a link in the description for those guys in the meantime we're just gonna have some fun and honestly it's been hard to really pick which cage which animal should go in but I picked this one for chicken strip here of course as he gets bigger he's gonna get even a bigger cage but this is a four foot by four foot cage right here and the bedding in the back there is about six to eight inch deep so he can really burrow in and again right now we're just using reptile prime but like I mentioned we're gonna probably do a combination of dirt sand and reptile prime even some leaf litter again we're getting stuff in the cages just seeing how they're gonna actually move around and stuff like that and then we'll do our finishing touches over the next couple weeks and let's face it even months from now we're gonna be continuing to improve you know whether it's putting water features in or whatever the case is this is just the very beginning I'm gonna be tinkering with this place forever but for now let's go get chicken strip here's chicken strip and of course one of the things that I want to continue to do is because Mary and Kelsey take care of chicken strip I want them to have the kind of honors of releasing the animals just like all the animals whoever is kind of the caregiver I want them to kind of experience so I'm gonna let you guys do your thing put chicken strip in there Hi, chicken buddy. strip what's up buddy oh my gosh careful bud here we go enjoy run be free 
<laughs> there he goes, he's just running. <laughs> Chicken strip, what are you doing? It's gonna take a while for these animals to kind of settle in and realize that, wow, this is my new home. But he has so many great spots. There's crevices all over the place, little places for him to hide. All the way up here is a 115 degree hot spot. So he's got all kinds of options in here. He's gonna absolutely love it. For now, I think I'm just gonna watch him run around. And enjoy this big game. Look at, oh my gosh. Again, within no time, he's gonna settle down, realize, wow, I've got all this comfortable space. I can't wait to see what he ends up doing with this cage. Of course, we had to give Brian a little time with RJ. RJ, you gonna be good? Yeah, I'm gonna do a So I think, I know you just had a, your arms are probably killing you right my now. My arms are huh? killing me right now. Miguel your made password? me do all kinds of workouts this morning. I couldn't even barely hold my camera. <laughs> You know, that's what I love about friends. They come from out of town and we get to play with alligators and snapping turtles. And uh, it's awesome to have really cool friends, like obviously everyone that is visiting me right now. It's so cool, but what do you think of our Oh my God, he's awesome, man. And a lot lighter than Bowser. So he's, <laughs> yeah. his my arms are killing me with that guy. Yeah, we had Bowser out before. Gail actually was holding him. Trust me, Bowser will give you a workout. As much as I've enjoyed the build of the Reptarium, it's been absolutely awesome making progress. I needed a day like today where we're just kind of having fun, hanging out with friends, playing with animals. Uh, this is what I needed. Uh, again, I love what we're doing next door and I can't wait to get back to it. But having a little break is rejuvenating for me and it's awesome to have fun with these guys. <laughs> Taking a little break for lunch. Check this out guys, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my channel with one of these beautiful Texas scaleless rat snakes. And all you have to do is go over and check out my channel, watch a video or two. If you like it, subscribe, comment on the video, and then on Monday, I'm gonna do an actual video for the giveaway. So again, if you find what you like on my channel and you find this content you like, then go ahead and join up. Ending my birthday with just a little bit of a gathering with all my friends, it's so great to have it. We're just kind of enjoying this, you know, again, it's been so much work over the last week, week and a half, and really months before that, that was kind of behind the scenes, that it's nice to kind of have some of my close friends just kind of hang out with me again, celebrate my birthday, celebrate the, uh, not completion of the Reptarium, but at least the progress of the Reptarium. We're having a great time just kind of seeing the few animals that are in here, thinking about which animals can go in here, and uh, thinking what the future is going to be. I couldn't think of a better way to have a birthday celebration, to have all my friends and crew and family here enjoying the fruits of all our hard labor. I mean, this is absolutely exactly what I needed. It makes me even more excited about the future. Jessica's going in, hanging out with Bella. Oh, look at the bell. Oh, she loves you. Oh my gosh. Now I'm jealous. She didn't act that way towards me. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? Guys, that gives you a little bit of an idea how big the cage is. I mean, Jessica's just hanging out in the cage. Bella is loving it. I mean, I don't know, guys. Everything that I've done leading up to this is worth it just to see this type of interaction. I think it's amazing, and it's gonna be so awesome for people to come here and uh, just get the experience. Well, I'm not gonna let people climb in the cage, but we're gonna definitely work with Bella to where Bella can come up so we can take her out. Uh, oh my gosh, how awesome, huh? So I think we're gonna wrap this day up by bringing Daisy over to her new enclosure. What do you think, Noah? I'm excited. Just, just me and you, we got it? Yeah. All right, me and him gotta go get Daisy. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Hi -ho. it's no, off the work we go. go. I don't know this song's name. <laughs> we work with snakes until they catch the heels. Hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. Hi -ho. amazing you don't realize how long she is until you see this you know I mean that's a long snake and she's amazing I mean look at how awesome it is this is what makes it all worth it you know seeing this I mean take a look at how cool that is oh my god she's gonna love it I just can't wait to see where she ends up you know she's like what's going on <laughs> look at her. <laughs> but look how long she is. I mean, that's a long snake right there. You figure that's six foot deep and eight foot across. 
you know? And she's already almost all the way there. I mean, there's a little bit of cut in on this side, but you're looking at, I mean, that's, she's gotta be all of 19 plus foot. So it looks like Daisy has kind of found her happy spot right back here. She's just kind of chilling out. But I have a feeling that later on tonight, she's going to kind of do some exploring, much like Lucy did her first night. Came in and definitely she was in completely different spots. Spent some time in the water. So we'll see how Daisy does. But so far, so good. She seems to be really happy. She looks amazing in here. So uh, oh, I think that that's uh, the last chore for the evening. Guys, it's been a great end to an amazing day. All my friends here just kind of celebrating my birthday, just kind of hanging out at the Reptarium. Some people are still here. It is definitely getting late. I think it's like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. We are off to Canada tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. We're probably gonna hang out for a couple more hours and just have a good time. I really needed this day and night, like I said before. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing morning, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. You guys support me as the world to me, and I truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on make a comment down below and tell me something awesome about yourself i love reading about you guys be kind to someone and i promise i will see you guys tomorrow hey, ladies and gentlemen that is the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves today can you do brian a couple favors before we get out of here can you please smash that like button for him make sure to turn on those post notifications so you know when he uploads which is every day at 9 a.m eastern standard time be sure to be kind to somebody and i promise you're gonna see brian tomorrow